morning, everyone. Today is January 7th. Um, I was planning on, totally intended on doing a video way before this, uh, but the temperatures have been so cold, uh, like minus 45 with the wind chill. It's just been horrible. I've been pouting. So today was finally going to be, I think, uh, minus 15 or something like that, which was a bonus, like what a relief. And it turns out that this beautiful Alberta clipper has brought us uh, winds and snow. The snow is supposed to um, continue all through the night and worsen, actually, as the night goes on. Um, so today we are, um, is our first day of um, our workshop, our hydroponic workshop. And I'm just going to take you for a walk out there quickly because <laughs> I don't like this cold wind snow I'm just tired of it um, I'm gonna take you for a walk out to the uh, wow it's really blowing out to the lettuce house and we will see what uh, they're all up to and here we go Roman is crazy he's been inside because it's been so cold today's a little nicer like I said well not nicer it's warmer I don't know what you call nice anymore, but uh, there's the lettuce house. It's uh, got its furnace going, as you can see. So let's take a walk down and uh, see what they're up to in the nice warm greenhouse. And uh, have I said how much I hate winter? I said it again. And Wayne is just explaining everything. We'll just take a walk through here while they're talking. I don't want to interrupt. So here's the nursery. Things are looking really nice. These are the beet tops that we're trying. They're very good. Cilantro, arugula, more arugula, cilantro. Now we're into the finishing troughs. We have some bok choy growing. I haven't been out here for a while, so everything looks new to me again, too. More arugula. I love, love arugula. And what else do we have? Anything else new? At this time of the year, things grow a little slower because of the lack of um, sunlight, and uh, it's been it's been so cold. But everything's healthy. Red romaine. I love the look of this stuff. And our Swiss chard which is a lot smaller right now than usual, but we have um, pulled all of the, uh, the old uh, chart out, and this is all new, newer plantings. Some are new, new, like these ones are new, and then into a little bit older, but we just keep harvesting off these. And it's beautiful stuff. And our kale as well. Kale's uh, slowed down a little bit, but it was just harvested for um, the market on Friday for Saturday's market. We harvested, for, uh, they harvested Friday for Saturday's market, um, which I actually got out of going to because it was minus 45 and uh, I'm just a big suck. So there, just a quick look at what we've got going on in here and with this course I just don't want to interrupt them um, Wayne's just uh, he's explaining everything so it's a four-hour course that they'll be doing um, includes a lunch um, which I'm prepping in, in the house and uh, they they will learn the entire system so it's a really good uh, program that he's holding and uh, I hope these people enjoy it 
now. He's just explaining the pH. And it's 60 degrees in here. Beautiful. Maybe I should be staying out here instead of in the house. And these are the LED lights that we uh, purchased. And they seem to be doing the plants a lot of good. Beautiful at night. It just glows. The whole uh, greenhouse glows pink. So they're set on a timer. They go off at night. and uh, Or they go... Oh! They just went on. Oh, he just turned them on. Um, they'll come on automatically at night and go off in the morning. Pretty cool. And it's getting worse. This is crazy, eh? Is it crazy? We're back in and I am making um, some chili because um, there, we have a couple that are uh, gluten free um, and I am by no means accustomed to making anything gluten free so Wayne picked up at the market he picked up from yummy tummy they're called it's a gluten free uh, baker some lemon bars and some type of cookies and um, I racked my brain as to what I should make because you have to read, like, you have to read everything that goes into anything for uh, people that have uh, gluten allergies. And chili is one thing that you can use. So I'm kind of learning with these people, too. So we're uh, another hour. They will be in for lunch, and uh, we'll uh, see what they have to say then. Okay. And here come the higher winds. The snow, it's really hard to tell on camera though. But, and then I forgot to mention, um, this, come this week, uh, midweek, it's going to warm up to like plus five, which is, what would plus five be? Um, plus five would be, what is it, Celsius would be 32? No, 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 no. Plus five would be 40 Fahrenheit. Um, and then, but they're calling for freezing rain and rain and snow mix. First week back to, uh, to school for the kids. And they're probably going to be home for another week. Yay. And I decided to do some uh, shredded cheese to put on top of the chili. I don't know. Can gluten allergic people eat cheese? I can. Alright, our lunch is done. Um, I totally forgot to um, uh, video while we were having our lunch because we were all too busy chit-chatting. So I'm heading down to the lettuce house now and um, they are all going to be harvesting their own greens to take home. So stay tuned. <laughs> so did you enjoy it? We had a great time. We did you? Awful lot. Did you learn lots? Lots. I took lots of pictures and my brain is full. I've so got a and we got a big do. bag of greens. And you harvested and I missed right. them harvesting. That's what I was coming in for. You had a good time? Great time. Good. Very informative. So you're what all ready. What, a, what teacher. a teacher. What a teacher. <laughs> so you're ready to go home and start your own system yes, now. That's right. Right. Perfect. Absolutely. Perfect. I got it. You got it all? Perfect. I'm there excited. you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy building.